good to be together again so soon. I spoke to you on Tuesday the 17th, and now it's Thursday the 19th. Uh, we've learned to experience change in the life of the church and in our community, and change there is this week. If you heard Bonnie Henry speak today on television, you'll know that there's new health orders uh, in the community regarding uh, on-site worship gatherings. Uh, we need to stand down as a parish and as a diocese, our on-site worship for at least three Sundays and, or until we hear otherwise. And so that affects us in that we won't have services this Sunday or the two that follow. What we will do is have a Zoom gathering on Sunday. It'll be at 10 o'clock. The details will be e emailed out to you and we will send some portion of it, the sermon for sure, out in the form of a recorded message later in the day. Uh, the other thing that will stand down is our Wednesday worship times and uh, Bible study or study that we've been doing. And we've been doing a Michael F. Bird N.T. Wright video series. And we're going to look to put that onto electronic means and invite people to come on it by Zoom so that we're able to complete the content of the eight series. We're on video four, I think. So we'd be on five this week coming. So... Also for Advent, there's a resource called Living Compass, Living Well Through Advent, that I will tell you more about as we move along, but it's specifically uh, helpful for worship at home and study at home. So I hope that we can complement your uh, time that way. Another thing that's been in the works that you may well have been heard of or you've seen on our website or been invited to, and that's the candle lighting uh, in preparation for our Christmas video. And if you go to St. Stephen's Hall on Saturday at noon, and if you wait for direction from Linda Clifford and Sandra Scarth and go in just in two people at a time or three or four people at a time, we'll take still photographs of you with the candle. And, and then, uh, so we can't crowd the building with people, but we can certainly accommodate everyone in a reasonable period of time. Just wait for direction and please wear a mask. Uh, we can... Uh, that is essential. I think otherwise you will hear more from us. The diocesan letter is posted to our website and we'll stay in touch in a variety of different ways. And if you have concerns or questions, please feel free to email me, uh, ltostego at bc.anglican.ca. Uh, that is all over our website, so you can check it out there if you need to. And I also just, again, encourage you to stay safe, stay in your home bubble, and take care of each other and take care of your friends in the neighborhood by uh, um, staying home, basically, as much as possible. Uh, be safe. God's blessing in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit this day and forever. Amen.